started in horses roughly when I was about 12, uh, doing race horses. So I, my background learning the anatomy, which is very helpful, came from the thoroughbred race horses. A farrier is, is someone that uh, shoes horses, uh, not to be confused with a blacksmith that uh, makes a lot of uh, different things. Uh, the, the trade has sort of evolved into uh, more just shoeing horses because we can buy a lot of materials that we need, but it's still helpful to know how to do. Um, I've been shoeing horses about 15 years now and uh, have uh, quite a clientele. What I'm doing now is I drove the nails in and then I used the clinch block to seat the nail heads in the shoe to make it a nice tight fit. And now I'm going to rasp under the clinches to get whatever little bit of hoof is hanging here and then clinch them down tight. And that's what will hold the shoe on. As well as the quarter clips that are on the shoe. So, clips are designed to aid the nails in keeping the shoe on. That's why you put them on. You've got a horse that's got sort of a weak wall. The clips will help. But I use them for a lot of reasons. I put them on hunters because when they land, they don't want to slide right off of the, the, the shoe. Well, I went to school, but most of the anatomy is from having horses. My dad and I, we, we raced stallbred for 26 years. But it's not just about going to school. You, you have to learn a lot more. There's one horseshoe that come up with this theory, and it, and it, it's very true. Like the FBI has fingerprints of the uh, of uh, people in their database, and they're identified as like four different types, you know, swirls. So everybody's in in a different category. And this this other farrier got five different types of feet, and one is very symmetrical, and he and he put a name to them. So the idea of that is that you. Uh, that you look at the horse, identify what type of hoof shape, go to the anvil, draw it up, and you'll be very close. And this frog takes pressure, and then we have up above pressure descending in the coffin joint, and it pushes these heels out. So you end up with a more rounded hoof. These are naturally more narrow, but they're designed that way because this is a horse's drive. When I put this foot down, you'll see he points, and that's how they go. They dig into the ground. So you want them to be like a spade shovel, because otherwise you take away their ability to drive. Back toes in, trying to get that leverage. So if you take that away by squaring it, it's no different than me giving you a square shovel to dig a hole versus a spade.